Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to be playing uh, just no fluff control, no BS control, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's basically like the bare bone amount of threats to win the game. And, uh, you know, just no nonsense, a lot of interruption. Uh, main win cons would be Arcanus and the Arcana um, spells. And then you can win with things like this. Because it's just... Um, when you're controlling the entire game and you get your opponents down low on resources, you can kill them with that. Um, this actually wins the game, but the other, the second primary way of winning is using It's Alive. So when your mana gets super, super high, you end up with like this giant creature. It's got a billion keywords that you can also protect with Absorb and Negate. Um, Shields Up basically acts as a one cost kill anything early game because this is a 3 4 after it's used and this is a 3 3. So they're basically able to kill uh, just about anything except for Watch Wolf. You still have to trade twice into Watch Wolf. Um, Staff can actually give you alternate win cons as well, but yeah, the deck the deck is an absolute monster. Uh, you know, just a warning: um, this entire video is one mirror match. Um, so if you don't want to see a very boring mirror match, you know, totally understand. Um, but that's what you're in for. It was like a 17 minute game, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. Huh. So I wanted to play something more serious. Uh, unlike yesterday, and now I'm going against another Teferi deck. This is very, um, this is very tiresome. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for here. I don't remember how I used to win this. Sorry. Oh, I guess I should have, I should have, uh, should have mulliganed for um, absorb and negate in case I'm running a uh, wizard. They're not, okay. So it's probably, um, yeah, basically, the, it's probably, more, I wouldn't be surprised if it was my deck. Uh, I think I usually just don't do anything. Let me check that actually. 24 to 24. So I'm actually a card behind. So I have to make his traps proc without making mine proc. Ah, uh, Gutfire Devil is a way of doing it. Let's mix it up. It's definitely a way. This is also kind of a way, but when we get really late game, they're just going to have a bunch of negates up. I guess I could have my own negates to counter at that point. This is going to be a really boring one, guys. Really boring. I might lose just because I went second. I don't want to play any of this. Just get this stuff out of my hand. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Uh, I was hoping they had a uh, shields up as well. Okay, well, I don't have to do anything else. I know this is kind of lame, but it's it's really like the only way to, to win. I need this to go off, or I need them to play something that draws. Mm 
-hmm. Trying to make my turns as, as fast as possible. We're a third of the way through the decks now. Yeah, I mean, if you don't do anything, I will poke you. Oh, sure. Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm just going to force him to use his traps more. I hope he doesn't catch on too quickly. That makes it a lot harder because now they're going to have um, two more cards in the deck. So now i got to make him go through this multiple times. This is clearly an absorb. I'm trying one with this. I just doubt it'll happen. Way too hard to get through. Uh, I could win maybe with the Sphinxes if I find a way. Negate. Yeah. Right on time. Uh, the burn from the second suns will never kill me because of the uh, the land. So, um, yeah, we're gonna just do this again. Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. See if he has another negate. Any day. Yep. All right, so. He probably let's see if I can play this oh wow okay well then I can undo this oh okay it's the other one guess again that's fine I think I'll let one of these happen um so I can get rid of the flyer, but that's, I think that's fine. But yeah, now we're at 13 to 17. Oh boy. She's messing up my entire game plan with playing whack crap like this. Why would you play stuff like this? Like literally just for the mirror match maybe? Which is bad everywhere else. I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. Mm. We're still up by three cards. But he has another one of these, which would mean I'm only up by one. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Excellent. Oh, this, this, this guy put two cards in my deck. He might have it as well. Yikes. Um, Drink deep from get this out of my hand. <laughs> I really just don't want to do anything. Hmm. This is this is a very boring uh, video here. Apologies. Yeah. They're running some real whack stuff. Unless that was what they got from staff. It's probably what they got from staff. Ah! Get wrecked, dummy. I have seen unimaginable things. That sucks that he has one. So now it's 12 to 15.
I am going to block this. I don't care if it triggers your traps. I want it to. He's not going to attack. He's going to hold it back. Yep. Yep. Hold it back. Fine with me, bro. Yeah, why not? Now it's 12 to 15. You can do anything. Oh, drafting last. Yep, yep. Always a sign of a good player. T -t Today, Junior. Wow, there we go. Look at that. Can do stuff. All right, so I think I just have to. Okay, well, that works for me. I'm I'm glad. I have to make sure this one goes through. He already used two negates, so I'm hoping one didn't come from a, a staff. But I'm gonna have to day a judgment. The Sphinx Ford, whenever I have this negate and this, is like ultra super protection. 11 to 14. I can steal one of the Sphinxes too. That's not, you know, like steal shell game one. Like there's options here. What the hell is this guy running, dude? I'm just going to try and steal that now. I'll try this first. Yeah, I had a feeling it was a bluff. Because I didn't, like, you know, if it was, I didn't want to use this first and then have this negate, so I just, I'm fine with leaving that there. It works for me. Oh, I was thinking that this was this, for some reason. Um, okay. Oops, too many cards. Please be, I was like, please be the Sphinx's, like, you're going to run out of cards first if you don't play stuff. And I hope he can't play stuff, and he just... Obviously, I didn't arm any traps, dummy. Um, but yeah, if he if he gives up the Sphinxes, that's going to be the most funny thing. You know, I could probably play one of the things that uh, mills him for... Mills the opponent for two as like a alternate thing to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Alright, I still don't have to do anything. Um, next turn I can just throw this out if I need to. So. Do, 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 do. Love it. Please keep not playing stuff. Because I'm going to keep not doing stuff as well. There, he finally did it himself. Lol. not going to use the um, charges. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Still 9 to 10, though. Still 9 to 10. Yeah, you already milled one of them, so I'm, not, I'm never going to die to this damage. So I don't care. Case in point. Uh Wow, you're actually going to um oh okay, I thought it was doing something. Um okay, nope. It is eight to nine. Uh-huh.
I only want to activate this when I'm like specifically going for like a negate if I don't get one. Okay. So now I have to do stuff. Oops, too many cards. Please, the. That works. Seven cards left. I think they've used all the stuff that's going to add cards to their deck, so... I think we're actually looking at the real numbers here. Yep, and now I can just add the charges. Should have attacked, but it just... He's not going to arm anything, and I would just be wasting time. Man, I really want to see the stupid Sphinxes go. That's the only thing I care about anymore. <laughs> just yeah, my plays, huh? Um, this really sucks. It sucks. Uh, at least this gets rid of that. I'm sure I'm going to mill it out of luck that, you know, I won't get what I want. I don't know, maybe he'll have negate up. I don't freaking know. That would be the best. Oh, I should have done this, because then it could trigger absorb and negate. That was my bad. I love this guy. I love him. I really do. I think I, I think I love this guy. Three, six... Nine, I'm looking at that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And we're just passing and passing and passing, passing, passing. Hey, there you go. I'll draw twice to go to two. I literally can't do anything. So I will just pass. What a sweetheart. I love this guy. So if my attack triggers go off, I win. Oops, too many cards. Ah! <laughs> oh, you're stupid! Alright. <laughs> I'm, uh, let's see, that was 17 minutes of freaking torture, so I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it there, um, right on schedule. I was praying for that the entire game, dude, um, this, like, you, okay, so, I'll give some tips instead of just, uh, ending the video, um, alright, so, in the mirror match, um, the staffs, you do not use them. Because you're just plussing when you're going to be in an extremely passive game. You're going to have a billion cards. It's never going to come down to life in the mirror match. Ever. Ever. It's never going to happen in this particular like archetype, right? So it's going to come down to cards. So <laughs> I was able to pass a lot more than him without losing the top card of my deck, which is important. Like stacking the staffs, um, making him answer you know, certain things, certain tiny uh, threats getting to a point where I could play the Riddling Arcana. He ended up losing his Riddling Arcana. If he realized what the actual game plan was from the beginning, he would have always have had one more card than me because I went second, and he basically just let me get more cards than him, which is something he should never have done. So, uh, yeah, just complete uh, misunderstanding how to play the Mirror Match, which is okay. It's really weird. Um, 
Again, it's not like a regular circumstance thing, and a lot of people like me aren't going to go for that extreme, you know, game plan, but you have to unless you just want to lose. So, um, you know, hopefully that it's kind of instructive about how you should go about the mirror match. Now, if both people know, then I'm kind of curious if you like maximize, you know, how well you're supposed to play. If the person that goes second always loses because they're down a card, but you know, it also is going to depend on on the cards you um, on the cards you're given, right? Because there's variance in a card game. But there's no way they should have lost because they had the uh, specter, which puts two other traps in their deck. And they had second sun. So they put five extra cards in their deck and still were going to deck out before me. So uh, just definitely not the way to do it. I don't think it's possible for you guys to have liked this video because it was uh, basically won by doing nothing. Uh, even though that was the plan. But uh, thanks for watching regardless. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.